It's bandaging the broken or washing filthy feet. Here I am, Lord, send me. If it's loving one another, even when we don't agree, here I am, Lord, send me. If I'm poor or if I'm wealthy, oh, I'll serve you just the same. Here I am, Lord, send me on the mountain or the valley. Oh, I will choose to praise. Here I am, Lord, send me. And if I'm known by how I love, let my life reflect how much I love you. I love you. And before you even ask, my answer will be yes. I love you, I love you. When I'm standing in your glory, I'll be glad I chose to say, Here I am, Lord, send me. Well done, good and faithful, I live to hear you say, Hey, there's a neat little verse from me in the book of Proverbs. I've loved it for years. Just a simple verse, Proverbs 20, verse 11. First part just says, even a child is known by what he does. Uh, he's known by what he does. And it's not just for kids, right? It's for us as adults. I mean, every day we're out there. We're building a reputation. We're building our character. And, and we really do. As adults, we want to do things that matter. We want to do things that are important, especially as believers. We want to do things that please the, the heart of God and really advance the gospel and show His goodness and His greatness. Well, to do those important things, the older I get, the more I rely on lists. I, I like keeping a list. Every day, what are the most important things I need to get done? Where are people counting on me? Or where are things that I just feel like will enhance the work of my day? And, and I take them off as I get them done. And then and then we move them to the next day, whatever doesn't get done. I don't know what works for you, but I know that our hearts really are to, to accomplish things in this life and to engage uh, this world uh, in, in the best ways possible. And out there, you know what it's like. I mean, sometimes it's real messy out there. And in this fallen world, I mean, we should expect that, right? We're going to face circumstances that we both... Uh, expect and some that we don't expect and the same thing goes with the, the choices and the decisions that we make and then of course there's people that help shape our journey as well and some of those man we just love being next to those people and others man it's just hard it's just hard for us to deal with them and all the while the cool thing as believers is we have a God who is right there with us who promises to never leave us or forsake us and lately we've been around here we've been talking a lot about inviting God into those conversations as we face each and every day. So we want to do things that matter, right? And one of the best ways I've found, maybe this will help you, is to early in the morning, each and every day, just establish my identity in Christ, to establish my identity as a beloved son of the Most High God. And that sets the tone for the rest of my day as I face those circumstances, as I make those choices, uh, as I encounter those people, I know that God is with me. And, and even if I mess it up, I know that my identity does not depend on my failures. 
So guys, I just want to encourage you as believers, as people who are looking to God, invite him in the opportunities of the day. Set your, set your uh, course for the day by knowing to whom you belong and your identity is a beloved son and daughter of Jesus Christ by, by faith in what he has done for us. So let's pray right now. Father, we thank you for your greatness. We thank you that that is true about us. And may we live this life making the most of the opportunities you have given us as your church. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Well, hey, take care, church.